One of Kansas City's largest developments in 2025 is well underway here in the Northland, the Google Data Center campus. But what is a data center and why are they in Kansas City? I'm Isabel Ladon and we're working to find out those answers and find out what these massive investments mean for our community. Computers, phones, even watches, almost everything in the 21st century runs on data. All of that has to be stored somewhere. Just because you can't physically see the internet, it's hard to miss the giant buildings that will help keep the metro online. Many people think about like this cloud, right? You think about all of the different areas where you have to store information. It's developed into these data centers. And so all of that information is stored within those, those types of facilities. We asked if Google's new neighbors knew what was going up in their backyard. Our data showed not many knew what actually happens inside these centers. No, not at all. Some, like Shatay McGovern, wonder what it could mean for her home's energy. Are they going to have backups to where it doesn't affect this neighborhood? While others are excited to see KC growing its tech footprint. As far as the data center goes, I, I think it's cool. I'm excited by anything that puts money into Kansas City, especially near me. These servers inside our KSHB 41 control room take up quite a bit of space. It's similar to what you would see inside a data center, just hundreds of times this size. Economic leaders say that's why companies are eyeing the Midwest and Kansas City. When you think about what data centers need, they need land, they need utilities. As we step into a bigger digital footprint, data companies need bigger shoes with room to grow. That's why the, the Midwest is even more attractive now than it used to be, you know, somehow many years ago. And Kansas City particularly is, is certainly kind of catching it. Google joins the 19 other data centers in the metro, including Meta. A lot of times with data centers are like car, car lots. And so when you see one car lot pop up, right, there's another one that pops up right next to it. Data centers could push KC as a tech hub. Neighbors analyze what that could mean. If the technology is going to affect our daily life here. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be asking city and company leaders those questions, like how this will affect energy supply and the tax incentives for data centers to build in Missouri. This is just the first story in a series of many where we dive deeper into data centers in our hometowns. Reporting in Kansas City, Isabella Ladon, KSHB 41 News.